nice. So here I am in Wii Video. In fact, you know what? Here, why don't I just sign out? I'm going to log out. When you type in WeVideo.com in a new tab, you'll get to here. And of course, you can click the log in button over here on the right. Log in with Google. You should already be signed into Chrome, so that's not a problem. Choose an account. It might have uh, have you do that too. For me, sometimes I use different accounts. Uh, you could look at the tutorial if you wanted to. I'm looking at, uh, yeah, we're going to do personal instead of classroom. I know you're in the classroom, but classroom denotes that I've set up a particular, like almost like a Google classroom. We're going to say personal stuff here. And you should get a page look something like this. Now, guess what? Yours is going to look different. I'm a teacher. I have stuff you don't have. But generally speaking, you should have these menus over here on the left. And stuff um, but uh, let's just go create new video we'll go full featured what the hey if it doesn't show you that you're probably gonna want to ask your teacher for a um, <clears throat> for a upgrade code um, we have uh, special accounts that we can let you have access to give you a little extra storage um, extra memory um, uh, some added features that other people don't get who don't pay the extra money and you can use that account while you're at this module all right uh, so right now I've got what's basically uh, a the, what I call the, the we video uh, you know workspace um, when I watch what I'm working on it's going to be over here this is all my media okay and um, I can uh, upload stuff from the video camera that you guys have been taking pictures. Uh, if you follow directions, you went around the module lab, you took four pictures and maybe a minute's worth of video footage. So we want that here where we can do stuff with it. So this import button, I, I wish it was bigger, but it's not. It's right there. And the important button we want to see is this browse to select, okay? And we're going to go into our computer and you will have to plug your uh, Canon Vixia camcorder into the uh, USB port. There should be a, a, a cord coming out of the computer already that will fit in that port on the side of the camera you learned about in the last lesson. Uh, you have to make sure that the camera is in the play uh, mode, not in the record mode. Um, you know, what I like to say to people is, Guys, pretend that the video camera, the, the Canon Vixia that you were just using to take pictures, think of it like a giant flash drive. You guys all know what a flash drive is or an SD card. It's a, you know basically a storage device. That camcorder is basically a giant storage device. But if your pictures and video are stuck inside the camera, they don't do you any good. So you need to plug it in, browse to select, and it'll probably even show up as uh, Canon Vixia or removable drive D, something like that, and then you'll be able to find your photos, okay? So here I am in Wii Video. I'm gonna click on this import button. Browse to select. And if I look over here, hey, I don't see my camera. That's because I didn't plug it in, silly. There's a USB cable. You should have uh, learned about this in the last lesson. You plug that guy in got to make sure it's on play mode. I don't know if you heard that beep, but now it's on play mode. And now it says, hey, Canon Vixia. That's the name of the camera, removable storage. All right. I see it down over here as well. Where it says Canon Vixia. Okay. Removable storage. Remember I said a minute ago, it's kind of like a flash drive or an SD card with your pictures on it. DCIM, digital camera images. That's a good sign. It's probably, you know, if there's a lot of folders like this, it gets annoying because other people share the camera with you. Your stuff is probably in the latest folder, okay? So I'm going to double click on there. Boy, it's hard to see these tiny little pictures. But if I go here to view at the top and make them, let's see, I should be able to make them extra large icons. Now I can see, hey, I remember taking that picture just a minute ago. There's the camera, there's the rocket, there's the robot, there's the microphone. And that must be my video. So I'm quite sure these are my things. Now the... There it is, coming in. Takes a minute. 
Oh, there's one. I can go back to import, browse to select. So I guess you're going to have to do this a bunch of times. Canon Vixia, removable storage, DCIM, last folder. I did that one already. I'm going to click on this one now. Open. There's picture number two. While that's processing, I can do another one. Go back to Canon Vixia, removable storage, DCIM. Some of you might be able to figure out a shortcut to not have to go through all those steps, but point is, I need to upload. There's my one, two, three pictures. One more I want to get. Back to Canon Vixia. Bam, bam. You get pretty quick at this after you do it a bunch of times. Open. Now these guys come in quick. Videos take a little bit longer. They take up more memory. So import. Browse. Vixia. Removable storage. DCIM. Last folder. Here's the video. I can tell it's a video because it says MP4 here instead of JPEG. JPEG is photos. MP4 is videos. Plus it's got this little orange cone here. So I open that. This is going to take a minute. Okay, you might even see a red light flashing on the Canon Vixia camera as it uploads it. Okay, there we go. So, this is the video. You can even see there's a little bar graph there where it's loading. It says MVI, which is kind of short for movie. If it's IMG, it's image. Okay. And so now that I have these up here, and again, remember guys, I told you before, you probably won't see all these folders and all this other nonsense here. It'll just be these pictures.